Hi, I am Mayur. You are watching how to set default formatting in Smart Reporting. When you design a report, one of your major goal is to make sure it looks eye-catching and appealing to the end user, right? So I think you might be aware of how you can change the default formatting of a single report. But here, we are mainly going to focus on editing the default setting itself so that it gets applied on each and every report which is present in smart reporting environment. Please remember, in order to perform this exercise, you need to have admin rights. I mean, you need to have admin role in smart reporting application. So in this tutorial, first, I will create a simple report to show you how its default formatting looks like. Then I will go ahead and show you where you need to set the styling so that it gets reflected on all of the reports present in the smart reporting application. Remember, I literally mean all reports. If you are a user ABC and making this particular change, then this change will be applied on all reports of other users present in the smart reporting application. So let's get started. Here I am on the report designer page. Let me pull incident ID. So here is a trick. Whenever you are creating a report, it's always a good idea to disable the auto refresh. It's what happens, you know, every time you pull a field, it generates a new SQL query and send that to the database from where it pulls the data. And this entire process takes some time during which you cannot do anything. So it keeps you waiting for that whole duration. And you know, nobody likes to wait, right? So we suggest you first you disable the auto refresh like this pull all fields you which you need in your report also keep in mind here it is showing you dummy data it is not the real data so don't get confused by the numbers and then click on refresh and now it is actually making the call to the ar server and pulling real data from ar server now let me pull few more fields here so here is another trick which you can use Whenever you want to pull multiple fields, you don't need to do it one by one, okay? You can select them all at once and drag them here like this. So now notice here, the default formatting of the table which we have created. Let me take its screenshot. Now I'm going to change configuration setting. Click here on the administrative tab, then click on content setting. By default, it opens up a report setting option, but there are other options as well, like dashboard setting, chart setting, browser setting. You can explore those once you become compatible with the tool. Okay. So here, mainly we're going to focus on report setting. Click on styles, click here on column and row heading. So these are the parameters which we can set here. So here I want to change text, background, header height and header padding. Now let me set those values. So Okay, so let's save the changes which we have made here. Let's go back and create a new report again. Okay. So I'm gonna pull incident ID and corresponding submitted date. You can see the difference between the previous formatting which we had earlier and the new formatting which it's showing now. Thank you for watching. Please watch all other videos of Smart Reporting to have better understanding of the product.